Hello and welcome back. There's a lot of different ways to slap textures and materials onto objects in Blender. Um, you could do image mapping, there's uh, texture painting, there's vertex painting, there's texture mapping, there's procedural shading, there's, there's a lot of different options. And let me show you what I mean. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hide our teeth here and let's hide Bob. And let's hide our gums, okay? But we have the eyeball right here. In object mode, we have our eyeball selected, okay? You know what, we can hide our reference images too. Let's add a material. Uh, so on the properties panel, the red beach ball, okay? Let's go new, call this eyeballs. Let's go to uh, material preview because we're about to add a material to our object and we want to see what that looks like. So let's drag the base color down and just like that, there's our black lifeless eyes. I suggest playing with this, right? This is, you're going to want to get comfortable playing with this right here. Um, if you want to make it look shiny, uh, you know, that's specular, um, how, you know, how much light reflects off the object. Okay. Um, metallic is another really fun one. Um, roughness. So this uh, makes it sandpapery, but if you bring it all the way down, it's like super smooth, right? It's like, uh, that, that almost looks, you know, it looks like glass, right? So find your level of what you want your eye to look like and then call it, right? Now, the great white shark has black lifeless eyes that roll over. Oh, cut to Quint. You know, it's kind of like old squares in a battle, like you see in a calendar, like the Battle of Waterloo, and the idea was... Shark comes to the nearest man, that man, he start pounding and hollering and screaming. Sometimes the shark would go away. Sometimes he wouldn't go away. Sometimes that shark, he looks right into you, right into your eyes. You know the thing about a shark, he's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living until he bites you. And those black eyes roll over white. The late, great Robert Shaw, who played Quint, uh, the Quint essential character in Jaws, the, the modern Captain Ahab. Like, he was just, oh, so good. Now let's hide our eyeball, and let's bring the gums in, okay? Now, the gums are pinkish, okay? There's like a, like a soft pink hue right there, and then you can bring this down and make it darker. And then let's do the exact same thing down here. There you go. Okay, you got gums and gums. And that's that's really how easy it is to put materials on things. Re just quick and easy. Now you have, now our objects have a little, a little color, a little, little razzmatazz. So we got our eyeballs, and we got our gums. We had our upper gum and our bottom gum. And now let's get Bob. Okay? Now, Bob, we're going to do something called texture painting. And it's really very painterly. So if you don't like the technical aspect of things, you're probably going to like texture painting. Um, to start, we need to do something called UV unwrapping. All right. And that's just a fun way of saying we want to create a two dimensional representation of a three dimensional object. That's, that, that's all, all UV mapping is. So in object mode, let's select Bob and then tab into edit mode and select all of Bob, you can see some chaos on the left hand side. Uh, if and when you see something like this, red, red is bad. Okay, blue is good, blue is cool, and red is no good. It just means something is super stretched. And that makes sense because we have not yet unwrapped this, which there is a very precise way of unwrapping and you do it with seams. Um, but we're just not going to do that. You can also just press U and unwrap. If you hit smart UV project, island margin uh, just essentially means how far apart each piece of geometry is going to be from another on this side and uh, area weight. If you just scroll over, you can see that this is weight projections vector by faces with larger areas. Um, so it, it figures out what needs to go where for pieces of geometry of uh, different sizes. 0 0.05 and 0.1 and how that needs to look inside the UV map. And then hit OK. And boom. 
so the geometry of Bob is now over here in two dimensions. You can see how this is. Here's clearly the side of one shark, the other side of the shark, the top of the shark. Here's a bunch of a bunch of fins. If you got here, save your work. Okay, now that we have made a UV map, we have the texture on which to paint. Okay, okay, so let's jump into uh, the texture paint workspace. And you should see a fuchsia bob right now. There's like hot pink or maybe light purple. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna say fuchsia. This is, this is fuchsia bob. And this, this color, this is Blender's default way of letting you know it's missing something. And so it's on you to go find it and sync it up. All right, let's add a new texture slot. Hit this plus button and add a new base color. And then um, as far as res goes, double it. So doubling 1024 is 2048. 2048. This is 2K standard. Okay. And then uh, get rid of the alpha, disable it, and then create the color that you want all of it to be. Now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this white color because this white color is going to make everything on it white, which is great because I want the belly to be white anyway. I want the inside of the mouth to be white. And then I, I can go in and, and make it and uh, kind of paint it a little bit gray. And then from an aerial view with numpad seven, um, we can paint the gray and kind of, kind of, you know, start to work that blend of very, remember sharks are evolutionarily perfect, right? So they're very, very dark on the top half of their body. So if you're above them looking down, they blend in with the ocean and their bellies are very, very light. So uh, again, if you're below them looking up and the, the sunlight is above you, it's, you, you just see white. You don't, you don't see darkness. It's just, you know, ocean camouflage like a boss. So then hit okay. Come hit the you can hit the bucket and then I'm just gonna make this white. You can make you can make this whatever color you want to. Okay, but I'm gonna start with white because it's a great because Bob's a great white. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna start with a white shark. <laughs> okay, so if we come up here, let's select this color. Let's use Bob's actual color and then we go like this. Okay, but if you come here, you can see that it's you can see it doesn't go to uh, it doesn't go to the edge uncheck normal fall off and then you should be able to paint over it okay and then let's just texture paint we can we can always select a specific color so maybe is if his pectoral fin is always like that nice gray that's fun maybe we do that on top of the blue okay okay you can see that we're not uh, painting here this might be a bleed issue. We raised the res to 2K. Let's scroll down to options down here and bump the bleed up to 16. And then if we paint on it, then we can do it no problem. Okay. Okay. And all I'm doing is just clicking and dragging. And you can notice well, here's what, what's what's one of my favorite things. What's really great is that see I'm painting over the eyeball right now, but nothing's happening. Um, Blender keeps the texture painting in separated from other materials. And now, and then we come on the other side as well. Remember, we applied the mirror, so now whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other. Right. And if if this happens where we get it on the inside, then we just come here, we change the color, and we paint. You know what? And this is actually, if you're inside the belly, it it's good to make. I wanted to make this a little darker uh, anyway, so I'm I'm so okay with this right here. Get the top of the top of the inside of the gullet and then now let's get outside and Bob looking sharp Bob okay I'm gonna put Bob in the side view right here just kind of baseline where we need to have the white transition from the gray okay and I'm in side view with numpad 3 on this side I'm going to decrease the size of my brush we'll go uh, white 
And then let's just, let's just start painting. And we got just above the mouth here. And then it comes up, comes up the nose. Oh, we didn't put nostrils in there. Okay, well, we owe some nostrils like that. And then it comes down a little bit by the gill. We didn't do the gills. Okay, all right, we got to keep modeling. And it appears that the white goes up the pectoral fin. So I'll shrink the size of the brush. And then maybe here's where I'll get... Here's where I'll get cute with it. Now, I'm just I'm drawing on a tablet right here because it 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 uh, it gives the ability to just be uh, painterly. Okay, and here's what just just get paint keep it painterly, y'all. Okay. And then we got kind of a soften, and there's a soften brush over here. This kind of, let me, this kind of blurs in some strokes. So if, it, if it's too painterly and you want to blur it in, just come up here. Okay. All I'm doing is just, it's like, all I'm doing is, so I have a stylus and any stylus will do. Find the cheapest freaking stylus that you can find. Um, the only people, uh, and I'm just using a stipple effect. If you've ever drawn, it's just like, just dots. Okay. But it makes it real uh, painterly, right? There's something, there's, there's something elegant and beautiful about this. Okay, and now we do some dots in gray. And it's it just stipple, right? There's no right, you get to be as painterly as you want. So for as technical as it is, you know, you still get to bring that uh, that artistry to it. And there's there's no wrong way to do this. There's a there's just a lot of different right ways. And ultimately the one that's right is the one that is best for you, right? Okay, and that's uh, that's that's a pretty looking great white, right? Okay, so everybody save your work. All right, nicely done, Bob. The great white shark is coming to life. Let's bring the eyeballs back. So we have um, we got materials on the eyeball and the gums, and we've texture painted uh, Bob himself. Let's get some teeth into the equation. Okay, let's go top teeth. Let's add a material called teeth. And let's make that material bright white. Okay, and then let's go one by one and assign this material to all these teeth. And there you go. Okay, so we got white teeth, pink gums, We've got our we've got a couple different types of grays and some transitions. Um, we got a little painterly right here, which is really nice. Um, this is super fun. Okay, so Bob the Great White Shark is coming along, you guys. And in the next one, we will rig. Okay, we'll rig and animate Bob. We'll get him swimming. Okay, so get up, get a bend, get a stretch, and we'll see you in the next one.